Good morning, South Florida. And of course, we have the latest 5 a.m. advisory from Hurricane Irma. And it is still a dangerous and major Category 5 hurricane at this time. Max has seen winds of 180 miles per hour and currently located 95 miles north of Punta Cana, Dominican Republic, moving to the west northwest at 17 miles per hour and forecast to continue moving in that general direction here as we head throughout the day today and we'll likely be impacting the Turks and Caicos uh, overnight tonight and into ter early tomorrow morning. The southeast Bahamas as we head throughout the day on Friday, we could see it moving across the central Bahamas, Cuba. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. Regardless, this is such a massive hurricane that we'll see all these areas impacted. And then as we get into uh, late Friday night and into Saturday morning, it'll weaken to a category four and take that turn to the north as we head into Sunday right now, we're seeing the potential of the center here of Category 4 Hurricane Irma possibly making landfall somewhere along Miami-Dade County and then likely continuing moving northward. Now, as we take a look at the tropical storm force winds, that's in the yellow shaded area extending well out from the center. And then the red area is indicating where we could see the hurricane force winds. Of course, the worst of the weather will be right around the eye. And we are seeing the potential that that eye could be riding up here the coast of Florida as we head into a Sunday and likely through Monday it'll be moving northward along the coast of Florida as a category three by Monday early in the morning and then headed up into Georgia and the Carolinas and it is such a huge hurricane that most of the state of Florida is really having to prepare for the impacts which right now we'll get to those in just a second. So hurricane warning is still in place for Puerto Rico and northern Hispaniola, Turks and Caicos, Southeast Bahamas, Central Bahamas under hurricane warning, hurricane watches for parts of Cuba and the Northwest Bahamas. And we will likely be under hurricane watch later today. We're looking at the radar and we have Puerto Rico providing the data and that's why we're seeing the bulk of the rain here on the east side. But really we're seeing that convection wrapping around the entire uh, width here of category five hurricane Irma, which continues to move to the northeast here of Dominican Republic. So in terms of headlines, hurricane watch likely issued later today. In terms of that time period of concern, we're going to see our weather deteriorating likely starting as soon as Friday night through Monday morning possibly. And the threats include damaging winds, extreme storm surge, and we could see some serious flooding. And models showing that Irma will likely continue moving west-northwest either across the Bahamas or Cuba and then take that turn to the north as we head into Sunday and likely continuing northward now. Will it be further off to the east directly across our area? Area or to the west, uh, it's still a little too soon to say. But again, the models are starting to come closer and closer together in agreement. And in fact, the GFS model, the Euro model, showing that it'll some be making landfall somewhere here near the Miami-Dade County area, possibly as we head into Sunday, and then likely riding up to the north. 